Hey viewers, my name's Kara, and I am pre-recording this video right after I recorded my last video. I've just added a sweater, so if it looks familiar to you, good job. And in this video, I want to do a good old-fashioned YouTube-type thing that I haven't personally done in several years, because I imagine it's not a thing anymore, so no one's doing it but me. And that is what's in my bag! So, I just figured while I'm recording videos and I have the lighting decently figured out, I would go ahead and record this so it can be used in the future. Just in case my motivation for making video reserves are super low again in the future and I need to put a video up for you, it doesn't hurt to plan a little bit ahead when you have the extra bit of energy or the momentum already going because I just recorded a video. So here we go. So this is the bag. First of all, it is a Cleveland Pagan Pride bag from 2015 when the theme was the crossroads and it was the first Cleveland Pagan Pride that I presented workshops at. So it was my first time being a presenter at my local event. I have pins on it. This pink one over here says, don't fucking touch me. And we have a pink rainbow. We have a uterus love pin from Glad Rags. I am a Glad Rags ambassador. And that pin is a little drawing of a uterus with hearts. This one says conform, go crazy, or become an artist. Those are kind of your options. I got this from my friend Kristen Keck, who got it from another artist witch years ago. And now it's mine. It's like ceramic, actually. Um, so pretty cool. And then I have a glow-in-the-dark Buckland Gallery of Witchcraft and Magic pin. That's one of the original designs from the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic, which is what we call it now. Um, but at first it kind of had both names and that now we typically just refer to it as the Buckland Museum. But there are still some Buckland Gallery pins and the old t-shirts that we've been selling out of. I, I keep saying we, by the way, because in case any of you don't know, I work there. So yeah, that's my one of my buttons from there My when I went there for the grand opening. So now what's in the bag? First of all, you might notice my tote bag has a totally perfectly flat bottom. What? Yeah, I put a, a bin in it. It's like, a, it's like a storage bin. Once we get everything else out, I'll be able to show you. But I put it in there specifically so that I could set it down and it would sit flat and my stuff doesn't go spilling all over the place. So pro tip for you right there. All right, so, okay, first thing in here is a sweater. It's a new sweater that I got at the thrift store. So new to me, it's not new. I got this at the thrift store some, some months ago and I must have been wearing it the last time I worked at the Buckland Museum before quarantine happened and it shut down. So there's that nice long flowing black sweater because I need more of those in my life. And then, oh, right now I have my little, it can be a fanny pack, but I also wear it as a crossbody bag. Um, it's in here because I've used it when we went to Boston. My partner and I went to Boston for PAX East again, right before quarantine happened. So I used it there. I have my they, them patch that my friend Lauren sent to me. It is just safety pinned on there currently. And uh, should I do a what's in my bag within my bag? Do we need to know everything? All right, I have this tiny little Fluttershy candy dispenser thing that holds my Advil that I take when I have menstrual cramps. It's like the only time I take Advil. Um, my partner got me this little thing and it was full of candy, like just little sugar candies, um, because I like My Little Pony. And so I was like, I want to be able to keep using this. What can I put in it? Advil, obviously. So Fluttershy is in there, uh, along with my wallet that I got at the dollar store when I was probably like 10 years old. I still use it because it's amazing. It's like the best wallet ever and it's super cute. So there's that. I have a little handmade, locally made chapstick by Essential, Essential Creations, who are some friends of mine. And uh, this one is gingerbread. I was actually given this as a gift by my partner's mom, who just got it at like a local farmer's market because my friends sell them there. But 
she didn't know that they were friends of mine. So I got it as a gift and I was like, I know who made this. They're my friends. Uh, and she also picked out this little cat um, holder for me. So it has a little hook on it that you can use, but I don't have it on a, on a keychain. I just have it like that. I have a little Dickinson's Strawberry Preserves jam jar that I reused from the uh, tea parlor where I used to work years ago. And I use it to hold Tums, like antacid tablets, but the brand name is Tums. I guess ours are off brand, but anyway, that's what's in there. So whenever I go places, I've got my Advil just in case, I've got my Tums just in case, I've got my chapstick, right? What's in here? Nail clippers. A thing that I do not like to go without if I am traveling because just in case if my nails rip and they start catching on fabric it bothers me to no end so I always have nail clippers handy or and or a nail file and then in this other front pocket I have my business card case which has a Victorian witch on it yes it is a cigarette case as well uh, the person who made it repurposed cigarette cases, added the art to them, and then it has my business cards in it and my partners and my business cards that we actually got when we were at PAX. Right now it also has a card in it that we got from PAX from our friends at Guardians Mental Health, which is a nonprofit, and it has um, emergency hotline numbers on the back of it. So I know you can't read that right now because it's not auto-focusing, but it has like the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, Trevor Project, RAIN, Veterans Crisis, National Eating Disorder Association, National Domestic Violence Hotline, National Drug Helpline, etc. And text lines as well. So here, let me auto-focus it for you. And then you can grab a screenshot of that if you need those resources. Boom. So we got that from our friends at Guardians. They were handing them out at their info booth at the event. So I keep one in my business card case. Ah, okay, put this back. And then that is everything that's in this tiny bag within a bag. So like if I'm going somewhere, I throw this inside the bigger tote bag and then I can just take this out of it, wear this to like go out and about and then I don't have to carry my whole huge bag with me, but I usually like leave the big bag in the car or something just so I have the other things. But these other things are less essential. So my sunglasses, I have clip-on sunglasses because specs, right? Um, a scrunchie, an extra scrunchie. I have one, oh, well, it was on my wrist, but I just accidentally put it up my arm. So scrunchies very often. Um, Steven, the director from the Buckley Museum, is calling me right now, but I am recording a video, so I'm going to call him back in a minute. I have strawberry scented, um, what is this called? Hand sanitizer. Sugar in the raw, because when I'm out and about, places don't always have raw sugar. So when they do, I take a couple extra, and they end up getting thrown in the bottom of my bag, so I always kind of have them. Um, twine? Okay, I forget exactly where these came from. But you never know when you're going to need a length of string. And I can say, first of all, you could play Cat's Cradle with them. But also, I can tell you, they have come in handy at the Buckland Museum. Someone came in one time and bought a little pendant for their young child. And they wanted something to put it on, but we didn't have any extra chains or cords available. And like when I used to work at the Medieval Fair and we sold pendants, we had lengths of hemp and cord that I could then cut to fit each person and then I tie them the way I tie them makes them adjustable so you can make it really big to put it on and then tighten it to hang wherever you want it so we didn't have anything like that at the museum but I looked through my bag and I had a third one of these and so I was able to thread it through this pendant and give it to these people for their kids so they could wear their pendant out of the museum so you never know when you're gonna need a spare length of twine is all I'm saying I have a Q-tips thing, travel Q-tips thing, this has actually been used, like emptied and refilled multiple times. So when we buy like a bulk thing of cotton swabs, I refill this. 
just because, again, I don't know. You never know when you're going to need them, basically. Um, and I have another one that, okay, so this is another one of these. It was originally a Q-tip holder. Now it also holds sugar in the raw. <laughs> raw cane sugar. Um, um, like every so often I go through it and like, I take these out of my bag and I put them in my tea cabinet so that I can use them. <laughs> if you ever need raw cane sugar and I'm anywhere around you, ask me. I have some. This is, oh, I have a bottle opener that we got probably for, oh, I remember this was from a random vendor at Cleveland Gay Pride a couple years ago, was handing out bottle openers, so that's in there. This is a little bag that I crocheted, and it currently is adorned by a keychain that my mom made for me after my grandma passed away. This little bottle has a lock of my grandma's hair in it. And the inside, I have one of my grandma's handkerchiefs that I actually took with me to her wake and her funeral. It's clean, don't worry. And I put it in here because this is what I brought with me to her wake and to her funeral. So that is still in there. I carry that around. I have a ballpoint Bic pen. Again, you never know. I have some facial tissue in a little unicorn thing. Lauren sent me this as well. More sugar in the raw. Earbuds, headphones. I have several different pairs of those kind of around the house. And then the last thing in here besides the bin that I said I would show you, is a little tin. This is actually a personal witch kit that uh, I put together, and my partner has one as well, that we put together as part of a Skillshare that we attended with the Reclaiming Pittsburgh community last year or the year before last. Um, we did a thing where everybody brought spare materials so that we could all put together our own personalized witch kit, kind of like a to go, not necessarily just a travel altar where you would have like mini versions of your altar tools or whatever, but just like stuff that you might need on the go to help ground yourself, to do a little spell on the fly or just like whatever. So I'm not actually going to tell you everything that's in here because it is personal to me, but that is what it is. I chose this tin from a a variety that people had brought in, but I'll share a couple things with you. Um, so for example, some of the things we put in here, people brought bay leaves and matches. So I have a bunch of matches in there. So if I ever need a match, uh, and I also have a bay leaf in case I ever just want to burn that. And what else is in here that I'll tell you? A tea light candle. Um, let's see if I can get it out now. A tea light candle is in here. Some other herbs, um, there's some crystals, and there's some other little special things that people had brought um, to just be kind of like little touchstones, little personal tools. A couple of those that I picked out are in here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I feel comfortable showing and telling you is in here without showing you the exact things, because it is personal. Um, but yeah, so that kind of thing is pretty cool. And then I keep it, my partner keeps theirs in their vehicle and I keep mine in my bag because I take my bag pretty much everywhere that I need to go, I have it. And then as I said, what's inside here is a storage bin like you might get in any organizational, you know, thing for your house. Um, and I put it in the bottom so that it makes the bottom of my tote bag flat and everything's safe. So when I put things in here and if I know, okay, I put that, you know, my witch kit is in the lower left hand corner and I'm reaching down in the bag, you know, I know exactly where to find it because the walls don't fumble all over each other when I set the bag down. So nothing like goes all over the place. You know what I mean? So pro tip right there, this actually, the hand sanitizer was in this. So it must have fallen out at some point, but the hand sanitizer was in there. So that's what's in my bag right now. It's been a while since I've done one of those. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe even a, a couple ideas of things that you might want to keep in there. Even if it's not cane sugar, 
Uh, if you have any of these old plastic things, you know, reuse them. If you can reuse them before you recycle them, do that. You know, that's awesome. Earbuds, never know, always good. Pen, it's going back in here. The string, because you never know. Actually, I could put these in the witch kit. No, actually, I have a string in there too, I think. Um, bottle opener is going back in there. But being that I do have that little cotton swab plastic thing full of little sugar in the raw, I think all of these ones can go in my tea cupboard and get used now. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.